Got that one done all the way to the corns. That one's been done for a few days now. What we're gonna do is plant a lot more fucking beans. So I'm working on digging these trenches out and uh, adding the soil into it. So, mine. Got to dig and mix and dig and mix. Layer it up. <laughs> all right. Nice way to twist the potting soil bunny ear style. And I got my little trowel and my bucket sitting on top to keep it sealed. So this is what it would look like with a good mixture. Got them on top. So I got two more to do and then behind the cucumber as well. But it's a decent extension here. So. Yeah, boy. It was 100 degrees today in Florida. Super hot. You can tell I'm sweating. So, yeah, really hot here in Florida, but I expect it to. Well, there's a tropical storm possibility coming. I think that uh, what we see around the globe with the Grand Solar Minimum is going to show some, I'd say, peaks and troughs of hot and cold. But just know that that could flip within an instant. So, you know, there was a, a rapid shift of the Earth's magnetosphere, then the hot, humid climates could become you know, really icy, snowy, cold climates, and then vice versa, so just something to uh, ponder about, guys. But yeah, definitely gonna get these bean seeds in here because they're prime growing season right now, so they've still got a good amount to, uh, to last in this super hot period at the end of the uh, growing period here in the summer. For certain plants like say the blueberries the blueberries aren't they're not in production anymore either they're super seasonal so they're about you know whatever they're kind of early actually i'd say even may or june or something is when i think i was getting the most blueberries off them but next year again they got a short window for growing they got the herbs and everything doing well, but yeah. So, don't put them seeds in there, son. Right. All right, take care of yourself. Say no to face diapers. Learn your exception, your exemption rules. Learn your exemption rules if you got to. And if not, if, you know, you're going to stand on your principle. I mean, really, I'd say the First Amendment would protect against you having to wear a mask right that overrides anything so hey it's just a son of the american revolution's opinion so got our tiles drying out yeah Whew. it takes good work man it makes you learn some good stuff here some good stuff all right all right peace y'all all right so i got rose pretty good and as you can see there's spots holes that I've dug the seeds into yeah 
so a couple more there and then finish all that up and there'll be all these kind of beans here lima beans and bush beans so yeah boy that's how it's going we're still in the growth season now we both see that March to August in Florida, same same thing for the other one, so alright man. Whew. Oh, a minute. Well so lots of rain intermittently. It was a hundred degrees today, yo. <sighs> crazy. Totally crazy. But rains just come and go, sun showers all the time. So we ate the cucumber and I threw some of the seeds in there just at random next to the cucumber plant so that in case they decide that they want to sprout more shoots to grow more cucumbers then I welcome that so I just kind of randomly tossed them over that general area where the cucumber plant gave us that one big yield our first yield of our experimental crop growing season so yeah boy see if it works just a experiment you know though man if that shit don't work man if those seeds is Sterile and they cannot produce? Shit, man. Monsanto don't fuck that shit up. We need to prosecute fucking Monsanto, man. Fuck them. Alright, got those rows. I'm not gonna do them over there because of the way that the sun is right now. So it's right over there. But I'm gonna plant in those. And then here too. The gates right there, I could extend them and plant more beans, but I got those ones done yesterday. So I just gotta plant them. Poke them in with that there. Rebar. Poke that hole in there and then cover it back up. And uh, still got August for these beans. So, we'll get to planting them now. Alright, so I got that so that no critters can get up under there. Well, maybe they could there. So I built this whole row up, <laughs> planted 10 more bean seeds. So we'll see how they fare. They should grow like those ones have. So this is pretty much complete all the way planted. The corns in the back are not doing good though. No bueno. But still got a lot of it going good, so. I Alright, guys, I wanted to show you this real quick. Look at all this firewood that I collected from the neighborhood. And then I've got a pretty good amount in here as well. Lots of those leaves that I like. I got one drying right there because it's still green. Um, yeah, but check that out. Some logs. This palm frond here. Um, lots of more stuff in there. And then this one is good. So, um, this hurricane Isaiah or whatever the hell they're calling it. 
there's a good possibility that we could lose power here in Florida, so I got all this firewood in case we need to cook our meals over the fire, just to be prepared. So, yeah. Okay, so today is August 1st, 2020. I'll be 30 in a week on the 7th. I just sprayed the crops with that natural pest repellent spray non-toxic stuff but yep yeah, these uh these rows are all really good So, I worked on the garden yesterday and the day before to completely finish it and planted the beans. So, don't know what's going to happen if we're going to lose power or not with this hurricane. So, as of August 1st, today, which is Saturday, I'm giving you all this update. So if I don't put up another video for next week, then you'll know it's probably because I'm without power here in Central Florida on the East Coast. And it looks like the hurricane is going to shoot just right there. I mean, right along the East Coast of Florida. So praise the old gods, my friends. Praise the old gods. Alright, thank you for watching Revolt Records, and this is Ms. Morris. I will catch y'all on the flip side of this hurricane. Peace. Mm -hmm.